Here we have a 914 brake pad, which is typically for a Honda Accord, varies on range for a multitude of years. And uh, what we're going to do is go over the product and show you what comes in a box and you know how it, it's there and designed to help you do a better brake job. So one of the components that we are uh, uh, at, we at SMCO are very proud of is the hardware that we provide and the shim technology that we provide with our product. As you can see, all of the hardware is anodized hardware. And the reason why we do anodization on hardware is because we want to assure that during the life cycle of the product, it's not going to have any type of premature failure where you might have to go back because do the brake job just because something that was meant to be, you know, a, a very important functional part has failed on the product itself. So it's important to give good high tensile strength product and that's what a Simco provides. We also provide full synthetic lubricant for the slide pins of the caliper. Obviously, lubrication is one of the key components of doing a proper brake job and we want to give um, you know the proper lubricant that's needed to make sure that the installers and the DIY guys are able to take apart the caliper and make sure that the slide pins are moving back and forth properly and lubricate them accordingly as well. Next, moving on to the product itself. So the the this and this pad and this pad are the two outboard pads and these two are the inboard pads. The outboard pad is the pad that's actually facing the outside. So when you look at a wheel from standing outside of the vehicle and you're looking inside to the wheel, you would see this pad that's here. It looks quite ordinary, you know, with the shim and stuff, but there's actually a lot of engineering and R&D that went into this. In deciding what shim technology should be used in an application, we had to assure the fact that we're not going to have any type of noise issues and it's going to give you the right type of performance as far as noise suppression, longevity, durability, and, and um, keeping its place. And what I mean by that is a lot of shims and brake pads can sometimes move from where they are. And that's typically due to the fact that one, they're not adhered properly, and two, the tensile strength of the shim material that's used is not up to par. So these clips tend to have loss of tension and they're not able to retain in their position then. So that's one of the things that are, are very important to us to make sure that the shim material stays in place where it is and doesn't move during its lifespan. Moving forward, we have uh, the inboard pad, which is actually the pad that goes on the caliper side or inside where the piston is. So this pad um, basically comes as a dual shim setup that's there. And the, dual, the purpose of this is one, for noise vehicle harmonic suppression, to make sure that you, we don't have any type of noise that emits when the brake pedal is pressed and the product is compressed against the rotor itself. So I'm gonna take this apart for you and show you how the primary shim looks. So this is the primary shim, which is a true uh, rubber metal rubber shim that's there. Let me take this off as well and show you. As you can see, there's rubber on both sides and the metal in the middle. And the purpose of this is to assure that we're not going to have any type of noise issues. As you can see the backing plate while we have the shim off, you see the backing plate is a precision cut. All the edges are nice and smooth finished off. You actually have a machining done where when you look at the hardware and you look at the, uh, the pad surface, it goes in and meets perfect. It, 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 they, they seat with each other with the least amount of gap that's there, assuring that there's not going to be movement when proper brakes are applied. So this is one of the bigger things that are part of how a Simco separates itself from the market and provides a product that's going to be geared towards giving an OE type feel, OE type performance, OE type install. And, and the last thing I'd like to go over is the hardware that we provide. So one of the key things that I always like to address about the hardware is that the tensile strength of the hardware for me is a very big part of how it's going to perform if you don't have a hardware that's actually the right strength. So typically strength is measured through compression like this because this is this part essentially functions like a bow tie to make sure it stays placed together. But you want to make sure that these prongs are strong and you want to make sure that part of the, sh the, the hardware is strong. So when it goes and sits inside the bracket, it's able to have enough stress to stay in place uh, during its life. And this is one of the other things that we pride ourselves on because the hardware that we provide is, uh, you know, guaranteed and assured to make sure that during its life cycle it doesn't have failure due to rust and doesn't have failure due to its inability to maintain its integrity and you know shift it, hence causing some type of noise issue or any other type of problem that may be there. So um, overall you know a Simco as a manufacturer does its uh, utmost best to make sure that the product that's being provided to the DIY or the installer is the highest of quality and the, the easiest to install with the performance and uh, you know confidence in your brake pedal being the key priorities.